What's up fellow gamers and welcome to XCOM. This episode is going to deal with some uh, news, some DLC for XCOM, the future of the series on my channel, uh, some little secret easter eggs here that my viewers might not know about that you would like to probably know about. Now the little secret thing here that I am going to show you is bringing forth XCOM Heroes. Now to forewarn everybody before I show you how to do this, if you want achievements and trophies on the Xbox or PlayStation or even Steam on PC, if you bring forth these heroes on whatever playthrough you're doing, you don't earn any achievements. They're all locked out because they're too powerful in the beginning of the game and make things kind of easy because they're so buffed up as it was that they, I guess they don't want you to be able to beat the game that easily. So to forewarn everybody, just to make sure you understand, that whatever playthrough you bring these forth on, these here XCOM heroes, is that you're going to lose the ability to earn achievements. Just on that playthrough. If you go make another playthrough, you don't use these guys, you can earn achievements. Now, what you do, is you go to customize and you got to change their names. The first person we're going to bring forth, whoops, wrong, how I spelled his name wrong, is Sid Myers. And of course, many of you should know who Sid Meier is. And if not, he is the maker of... Well, well I didn't... Uh, apparently, I didn't make his name right. There we go. Bring forth XCOM Hero. If you summon an XCOM Hero, achievements will be disabled for the rest of the game. There you go. There's a fair warning right there, too. Now, Sid Meier, if you don't know, is a co-founder of Firaxis and creator of the Civilization games, Pirates, and other strategy-type games. Uh, what's the what's the Alpha Centauri one? I played that one a while ago. But let's see what we get when we use Sid Meier's name. We get Sid Meier American. He is nicknamed Godfather Colonel. He's a support class. Yeah, support class. He's a support class. Wow, look at his HP. His will's 220. Wow, defense. Aim 100. That's amazing. And he's also a psionic. So his psionic abilities is all of them. He gets all the abilities. I think he also gets that rift. Telekinetic field. Let's look here. Abilities. Alright. He's gone with smoke grenade, sprinter, smoke and mirrors, revive, dense smoke, agni pockets, and savior. Alright, he looks pretty nifty. He gets uh, plasma weapons, the psi armor. Very nice. Alright. Now, the next person we get to play around with is Ken Levine. Well, all right, let me put his name in here. All right, Ken Levine is co-founder of Irrational Games, a developer behind Bioshock, Freedom Force, and System Shock 2, and other games. Some of the hero. Ken Levine is nicknamed Big Daddy. He is a sniper. And he's also an American. He gets the plasma and the Archangel armor. Very nice. It's gunslinger, snapshot, in the zone, disabling shot, low profile, and headshot. Okay. Alright. The next one, there's only four currently known ones. There might be more. The next one is Joe Kelly. Let's change his name. Kelly. Now let's bring forth the hero. Summon the hero. Joe Kelly is Archangel nickname, American, and he is a heavy. He gets all the plasma stuff and that special rocket launcher you saw in the last few episodes that I did on my playthrough. And he also has the Titan armor. Joe Kelly is a popular comics author that worked on Superman, Spider-Man, and many other famous characters. Will to survive, fire rocket, halo targeting, suppression, rapid reaction, danger zone, and rocketeer. Now the last confirmed hero that we get is Otto whoops I spelled his name wrong Otto Xander now Otto Xander if you did not know does a let's play series on YouTube so if you look him up it's a Guavo Moments XCOM let's play series hey, apparently I did not spell his name right let's try it again shall we there we go. Let's bring him forth. Let's see what we got. We get an assault class who's German. His nickname is Unbreakable. He is wearing the ghost armor, so he's awesome that way. And he gets an alloy cannon. 
We got Run and Gun, Extra Conditioning, Aggression, Lightning Reflexes, Rapid Fire, Bring Them On, and Resilience. Alright, now I'm going to take these fellows out on a spin and a mission. So let's scan for some activity. Not now. Carry on. Come on. Oh, the Foundry. Now, the game that I'm using to show you these names is not a new game that I made. It's not a current series, so you don't have to worry about me playing in the background or something like this. This is from a previous save of the whole playthrough that I've done before. Alright, so don't worry about that. Now, the news about the Ux upcoming information about what I'm going to do in the future of XCOM on my channel, for the, all the XCOM fans that have come here, is that I am going to do it on a harder difficulty, another playthrough of the series. Oh, that dude's missing like crazy. There, I got it. Anyways, let's take these dudes out on a, a special mission. Alright, let's see here. Colonel on there. The Unbreakable. There we go. We got my four guys here. Uh, the future of the series, I am going to do it, like I said, I'm going to do it on a harder difficulty. Uh, the harder difficulty that I've chosen to go with right off the bat is not the next level, like classic, because of the last playthrough was all normal. I am going to go bump it all the way up to the top. I'm going to go with Impossible Iron Man difficulty. That means it's on the hardest difficulty. I can't use any previous saves or anything like that, even though I didn't do it on the normal difficulty, but it'll keep me from taking that into a possibility with the impossible difficulty. I'm going to see how far I get. That's going to be season one. And I'm going to continue doing seasons until people want me to stop, pretty much. Every season is going to see how far I can get. And then we're going to start with another season for all the XCOM fans out there. And uh, what I want to happen is in this next series, I want you all down below to pick names for my characters. Either it's your own username, your own personal name, just put down what down. just put down what you want them to kind of look like, what armor you want them to be, uh, what class you want to be, what uh, country if it's it available. Like I want my guy to be this country if I can get them. Uh, all that kind of stuff. What's the name, the look, all that stuff. That's what's going to happen. So you watch this episode put that information down below and in my impossible Iron Man difficulty playthrough that is what's gonna happen we're heading into China for the next operation so that's what's gonna happen now on to some XCOM news here after he gets done talking his little brains out because you know darn well that's what he's gonna do strike one is ready to secure the craft copy big sky Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Yeah, yeah, attempt the breach, attempt the breach. Now, there has been some DLC announced for XCOM Enemy Unknown. It's getting two DLC packs that will add campaign content, the first of which is called the Slingshot Content Pack. While no price or release date has been announced, we I do know that it will give you three new council, council missions to complete in China, and they will work like Micro Story within the larger game. All right, let me move him up here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play while I'm talking and reading here because I, I wrote out a script. Yes, I'm not just fumbling words. Okay, you'll be able to play them pretty much whenever you want, and doing so will grant you access to a new Chinese triad operative soldier. The soldier will be heavy and will have unique head and voice. The new council missions will each have unique maps, though these won't be added into the random rotation. Now what I'm doing with these guys is I'm just rushing them all the way up there because I mean come on they're buff as hell. Uh, there's no, like I said, there's no official release date or price on what these are going to cost or if there's a certain console or anything that's going to come out first on, like it's going to come out first on PC or Xbox. Um, the second campaign content DSL hasn't been announced yet but uh, 2K Games is putting the Elite Soldier Pack, previously a pre-order bonus, up for sale. So, there's that. Anyone who wants to customize their soldier, such as I have done. Um, the price of it is 5 bucks on PC and PSN. 
and it's 400 bucks on the Xbox Live. The content adds a classic Exxon Soldier look-alike, new armor kits, and color customization options. You've all seen that on my channel, so it's not really, it shouldn't be any kind of a big surprise to any of you. If it is, it's a shocker. They're trying to flank us. Oh, only 50% shot. All right, that's pretty much all the news and everything for that I have for all of you. But like I said, down, leave down below the name, the race, uh, what class you would like to be if I can make that happen, what country you'd like to be if that's possible on my impossible playthrough. So, there's that. Now remember, you have to pick a first name and a last name. And I'll try to keep you alive as best I can on the impossible playthrough, but I cannot make any pro promises on that because it is the impossible difficulty Iron Man playthrough. Got him. This video is I'm going to try to keep up on my main page so everybody can see it as much as possible. We should make every attempt off. to capture one of those creatures okay, using the We're doing a mission real quick here because we're these superheroes. You know what? It's, no, 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 not her. Where is... Oh, I already used him. Alright, uh, where is... Hey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up here and I'm going to use this rift ability because I never got to see it. Let's do it, shall we? Let's throw the rift in there. See what it looks like. Whoa! Twenty-six. That is insane. Now, are there more aliens? I don't see any more aliens. I don't see any more aliens. There must be. Now, if you're wondering, this playthrough is from a from the previous playthrough I did. It's a way earlier save that I did. So, don't worry about any of that. Where are they? There they are. Knew there were some more aliens around here somewhere. Here. Here, alien bastards. You're gonna die. I'm gonna kill you because I have awesome McMurders. Uh, I'm gonna use my new special rocket to blow them to hell. Rocket man! Whoa, that thing's cool. Operational objectives. Well, that is the end of that, folks. Those new heroes make things extremely easy. I am not going to use them in my impossible Iron Man difficulty, even though that would be fun because I would like to earn some achievements. I like achievements. I think they're good. So take that. I wish you could just manually change the countries and all that. So far, especially considering the conditions Ooh. down there. Yeah, bullet swarm. Yeah. Any who's it's. And until next time, until the next season starts. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Um, the new season's going to start probably here actually in a week or two. Because I want to focus on Dishonored. And all those other games that I got going. I want to finish some more of those before I start focusing back on XCOM. I want to take a little bit of a break. Yeah, I understand that. These advancements could completely change the course of scientific progress. A new, untouched see, field of study just all that good stuff. waiting for able minds. Shut up, lady. Uh, I, I want to get through Dishonored. I want to try to finish Black Mesa. I got Borderlands 2. I got a, bo a bunch of games going, so I need to focus on them for the next uh, couple of weekends. Get them all straightened out. There's some things going on with Gaming Shack TV. You need... There's a... Uh, I think... No, there's no... I'm going to put a link down in the description for Gaming Shack TV. If not, go to the, my featured channel, my actual channel with all the videos and stuff like that, and there'll be a thing underneath... Feature, yeah. On their feature channels, go to the Gaming Shack TV. If you are a uh, yellow... YouTube publisher who makes your own videos like I do you can talk to them and they might add you to the community network uh, they're always looking for new players different games I've kind of spread the word a little bit go there subscribe check out other people's channels but anyways on this here please remember to like subscribe leave comments down below and don't forget folks leave your name of the soldiers that you would like to be what class you would like to be if I could pull that off 
uh, because you're going to be in the game in my impossible Iron Man difficulty. And until next time, my fellow gamers, have a good day.